today's uh, session. So it will be given by, by Fanyao Chu from the University of Brasilia. And he will speak about magnetic field induced splitting and polarization of dark excitons, bi-excitons in molonite transition metal like alcogenite, bi-exciton qubits, and, magnet and magnetic gateable valley exciton emission transistor. So please. Yeah, thank you for your uh, introduction. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, organizers to provide this opportunity to give uh, a cube talk here. Uh, fortunately, most of my uh, presentations, uh, Professor Igo and uh, Paulo already uh, uh, already did. Uh, so uh, I I think uh, it's easy to understand uh, uh, our work. So today I will divide in my uh, presentation into two parts. The first part I will uh, show you uh, our proposal, uh, which use B exciton uh, as a qubit. Uh, uh, second part. Uh, as you know, usually uh, we have the electric, electric transistor here. I will show you how to use the magnetic uh, gateable um, uh, valid exciton to, uh, to make a transistors. Okay. Uh, this is uh, uh, Brasilia. Uh, uh, here is a uh, uh, Congress building. Around the Congress building, there are uh, uh, ministries. Okay. Uh, this is uh, a well-known uh, JK bridge, which links uh, noble residence place and the downtown of Brasilia. Okay. Uh, this is my small group. Uh, we have some postdoc and uh, uh, graduate students. Uh, th this is a. Uh, uh, our students and our co uh, collaborators to contribute uh, contributed to this work. Uh, uh, this is the content for my talk uh, today. First, I will introduce uh, briefly my uh, motivation of this work. Then I will move to a second part. I will uh, tell uh, sorry uh, tell you uh, the values the manipulating of exciton uh, excitonic quasi particles here. I will introduce to you. Huh, a I, I will uh, explain why we do this kind of uh, work because, uh, as you know, uh, TMD, uh, there is a very strong uh, Coulomb interaction. So, uh, the uh, well radius of exciton is very small. So, the lifetime of uh, exciton, uh, bright exciton, is, is very small. So, here I will concentrate uh, uh, um, my work uh, on the uh, dye. A diaxiton, which has a very long, um, a relatively long huh, lifetime and a very relaxing time. Huh. Uh, the third part I will show you, as I told you, uh, uh, our proposal which use the uh, biaxiton um, to make uh, a qubit. The last, uh, this part, uh, uh, we focus on the uh, magnetic effect. Uh, uh, to get these effects, I will show you, we need a very high magnetic field. Uh, so, uh, the, the last part, uh, I will give you an uh, alternative. Uh, instead of you use a uh, very high magnetic field, we can use a magnetic proximity effect uh, to, uh, to make the similar uh, effect. Okay? Uh, uh, finally, I will give, uh, give you my conclusion. Uh, I give you a huh, very brief uh, uh, introduction about the TMDs. Uh, as you know, TMD has uh, uh, a lot of special properties. Here, I just list three uh, of them. Uh, first, first one, uh, TF, uh, uh, DMT, because uh, in DMT there, there are uh, very strong small interaction and uh, inverting uh, asymmetry. So uh, uh, there is a, a spin valley locked property. This gives you uh, the optical selectivity of spin and valley. Uh -huh. uh, the, the, uh, another uh, interesting thing is uh, in this material, uh, there are uh, very strong uh, uh, many body effect. So this strong uh, many body effect uh, uh, enables uh, exciton trying uh, uh, the negative charge 
by exciting, et cetera, et cetera, uh, can survive even at room temperature. So uh, this gives us opportunities uh, to study this uh, uh, quasi particle uh, at room temperature. The, the third one is uh, uh, this material has a very strong uh, light matter interaction. So let's first uh, focus on the uh, uh, many body effect. So, So uh, this is experiment uh, data. So uh, this figure shows you if you tune um, a voltage, you can create uh, 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 many, many excitonic quasi-particles uh, such as uh, neutral excitons, charged excitons, and uh, uh, bi-excitons. Uh, here, uh, 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 by excitons, you have a lot of uh, configurations such as these by excitons are uh, formed by uh, uh, two excitons in the same uh, valley. We call the uh, intravalley by excitons. You can go it because uh, uh, the dark exciton has longer uh, love time, so uh, there is a, a large uh, possibility to form the by exciton uh, from the one bright exciton and one dark exciton. Uh, this is uh, how we call the intravalley bright dark B exciton. And uh, you can, uh, uh, sorry, here uh, has some uh, dislocated. Uh, you can have one bright exciton in one valley, and you, you have another dark exciton in another valley. So we, we, uh, we call this configuration is uh, bright dark intervalley uh, by exitons. Uh, you can also have uh, here, huh, I also, huh, you can have uh, two dark excitons from uh, intravalley, uh, uh, two dark, uh, uh, intravalley dark uh, by excitons. Uh, so, uh, uh, besides this cool interaction, uh, as I mentioned, uh, uh, this material has uh, very, uh, very electronic properties. Here, I, uh, maybe everybody knows this is a, uh, a sugar loaf mountain. If you uh, uh, put uh, two mountains together, you got this part. If we uh, inverted this mountain, we can get this figure. Huh? This figure huh, here is the uh, lowest place of mountain, we call it the valley. So uh, this is, uh, give us, uh, <laughs> uh, we call it, for, for our case, we we call this uh, a k, k parameter value. Okay. So, um, as I told you, uh, uh, besides very strong cool interaction, uh, there is a uh, uh, very uh, uh, selective, uh, optical very selective uh, properties. What's the meaning of this? Uh, such as if you excite uh, uh, the material in a k value, uses a uh, circular polarized light with uh, sigma plus, you only can get uh, uh, the light emission in this uh, in this valley with sigma uh, the same uh, polarization. You don't have the polarization. Uh, uh, you don't have the light in another valley. Okay. Uh, otherwise, you can uh, you can also excite the, your material use sigma mi uh, sigma minus, uh, and you get uh, sigma minus emission. You don't have the uh, emission in this. In this valley, this is what we call the uh, uh, valley selective selectivity. Um, so, to understand our work, uh, I have to uh, emphasize uh, what's the meaning of this uh, valley polarization, uh, polarization, because valley polarization is a very uh, important uh, physical uh, quantity, uh, which give you information the system which is. Uh, uh, easy or difficult to manipulate uh, this valley. Uh, uh, we define this valley polarization uh, is uh, uh, um, uh, emission intensity uh, uh, of sigma plus light minus uh, uh, intensity of light with sigma minus divided by uh, some over of them. Okay, uh, so uh, with this information, we can uh, uh, start uh, understand what uh, we did. Uh, this is uh, experimental data with show you everybody huh? maybe everybody knows if you apply uh, one uh, perpendicular magnetic field 
uh, you, if you change, uh, in, uh, increase the magnetic field, you can get uh, uh, sigma plus, sigma minus uh, separated, uh, uh, which means uh, this is a uh, spin, uh, we call it a uh, uh, very Zeeman splitting uh, 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 linearly uh, uh, with increased magnetic field. Okay. Uh, this experimental uh, data uh, motivated us to, uh, to do our work. Uh, so, the first part of uh, our work, I show you, huh, uh, I can apply one huh, tilted uh, magnet field which has the uh, 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 out of plane uh, component and the in plane component. These two components have a different effect. Uh, the, the perpendicular part, you, you got uh, contribution, you, you will uh, create uh, the Zeeman uh, splitting, Zeeman, valley Zeeman splitting. As you know, uh, we have three uh, contributions. Uh, you have the spin uh, and contribution, you have the orbital contribution, you, al you, you have also uh, uh, the momentum of valley. So these three contributions give you uh, this valley splitting, uh, such as this valley splitting. Uh, this is uh, uh, out of plane uh, uh, magnetic effect, uh, magnetic field. Uh, if you you have the in plane uh, magnetic field, what you got, uh, you can uh, rotate the spin uh, uh, direction. Y so you got the mixture of. Uh, uh, spin up and spin down state. So you can make this dark state uh, such as uh, this one huh, initially, uh, uh, this two, huh, uh, because uh, if you have this kind of exciton uh, which located in the condensed band and the valley band with uh, uh, different spin states, so this is a dark exciton. But if you can uh, rotate uh, the uh, spin, um, uh, orientation, so you can make it uh, uh, brightening. This is uh, 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 magnetic uh, brightening, dark, dark action brightening. So uh, use this one, then we can uh, and, uh, we can study uh, uh, very dynamics. I give you very very uh, simple um, example to understand uh, 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 our result. Uh, for instance, if you only have uh, this is a uh, uh, a dark exciton and you have one bright exciton, what happens, our work is different with usual work because usual work, uh, uh, you uh, people uh, usually study emissions, you only have considered uh, uh, one uh, excited, uh, one uh, quasi-particle emission. Here, we are uh, in, uh, interested in the uh, many body correlations in um, between the different uh, quasi-particles. Uh, here I show you, huh, this is a dark exciton, uh, this dark exciton can, can be huh, scattered into the bright exciton, uh, uh, just you, you have the huh, a mechanism to make this uh, spin flip from this state to this state. Uh, this dark exciton, uh, this bright exciton in the, huh, in the K valley can also throw huh, exchange, <coughs> exchange cooling, <coughs> sorry, Exchange cooling interaction can be scattered into the <coughs> another another valley. Um, we also have uh, this uh, bright dark <coughs> exciton scattering. Okay, so uh, uh, this is a single particle picture. This is uh, many body uh, two particles uh, picture. Uh, the exciton picture. So you have ground states. If you uh, excite. Uh, Exciton, uh, this bright exciton will, uh, will be here. Then they can uh, relax, uh, relax to the dark state. Uh, they can uh, can be scattered into another state. Okay, uh, so if you consider this uh, uh, scattering, you can uh, uh, you can understand uh, uh, what happens with valley uh, dynamics. So, yeah. So to understand the valley dy dynamics, you just uh, 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 have to consider these uh, curved rate equations. Uh, then you solve the, uh, uh, these uh, uh, rate equations, you can calculate uh, the emission of each quasi-particles, uh, such as uh, 
bright excitons, uh, bright in the uh, dark excitons, uh, something like that. Okay, this is only a uh, simple case to uh, uh, to show you how to works. Uh, for our case, uh, if we have uh, in our system, uh, system as I told you, we have the bright exciton, we have dark exciton, we have uh, uh, three different kind of uh, bi-excitons, such as this one. Huh? This is uh, uh, intra valley uh, bright 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 exciton formed. Uh, uh, by exciton. This is a uh, intra valley bright dark uh, exciton formed uh, uh, by exciton. We have another one uh, uh, for for uh, simply uh, simplification. I didn't show here. Uh, so if you have this kind of uh, system, you have a lot of uh, uh, scatterings. You have the intra valley scattering, such as uh, in, uh, inside the K valley. Uh, inside the K prime valley, you have the intra valley, a uh, uh, inter valley scatterings. So you have to uh, consider the all of the scatterings. Then you can get correct uh, the uh, uh, the photoluminescence or uh, valley polarization behavior. Okay. Mm. So, uh, uh, for, uh, for example, uh, here. In the presence of a uh, magnetic field, why presence magnetic field? Because, uh, as I told you, huh, in uh, in the presence of uh, out of plane magnetic field, you can break down uh, the valley, uh, uh, break down time reverse symmetry between k and k prime valley. So uh, it allows you huh, uh, this imbalance the uh, population of excitons in k and k prime valley. So you can enhance the uh, valley polarization, okay? Uh, so, uh, uh, such as uh, for this case, we have uh, intra-valley uh, two bright axion formed by axion. Uh, if you apply uh, uh, one perpendicular magnetic field, as I told you, uh, you have the spin component uh, contribution. This is the spin up. The slits uh, with spin up will uh, goes up. Uh, the slits with spin down will uh, uh, Will uh, goes down, and uh, we have orbital uh, um, uh, mo uh, angular momentum contribution also. But here, uh, as I told you, uh, uh, besides these two contributions, we also have the uh, uh, magnetic uh, momentum of valley. Just because this one uh, uh, compared with these two contributions is small, so uh, we neglected uh, this factor. Uh, uh, something uh, which I would uh, emphasize is that the uh, for spin contribution, if you have the uh, bright exciton, that's because uh, the conduct band and the valley band, uh, you have the same spin uh, uh, component. So the spin part doesn't contribute for uh, bright exciton, but uh, it does contribute for uh, dark exciton. So uh, this mix, dark exciton has a very large uh, uh, valley Zeeman splitting uh, in, compar uh, in compare with uh, bright exciton. So if you do this, you can get uh, this is uh, uh, intra valley bright dark exciton. You got uh, uh, this is uh, valley splitting. Uh, this is uh, energy uh, 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 level in K valley. This is uh, energy level in K prime valley. Yeah. Uh, this is the initial series. This is the final series. If you uh, want to determine the uh, um, uh, the optic uh, emission peak, you have to uh, calculate the difference. Uh, this is for uh, sigma minus, this is for sigma plus. Okay, and uh, you can do uh, the same things for another kind of uh, bi excitons. Finally, what you can find uh, this is a valley Zeeman splitting as a function of magnetic field, uh, this is uh, out of plane magnetic field. What you can find is uh, uh, this one. Uh, uh, you got very very large. It's not a, uh, is not is very large from minus fifty uh, milli electron volts to uh, fifty uh, uh, milli electron volts for uh, XXD. This is uh, um, bright dark intra valley by exciton. Uh, uh, but uh, what you have to uh, uh, sacrifice, you have to uh, apply very high magnetic field. So we can realize, uh, uh, we can realize, uh, we can achieve very large uh, valley Zeeman splitting, but uh, for this case, uh, we have to use uh, very high magnetic field. Another thing is interesting, uh, 
uh, you can find ha, this two ha, uh, bioxyton has uh, very splitting, uh, this is positive, but it is uh, this one, uh, this is a bright dark intervalley uh, bioxyton has, has an uh, opposite behavior uh, in compare with these two. Uh, so this give, uh, give us some, uh, uh, some hints we can use this uh, very large uh, because this uh, these two axons has uh, operate uh, very splitting, so we can use these two um, to construct uh, the qubits, which they have. The, uh, they will uh, give you the uh, operate uh, rotation uh, direction. Uh, so I show you. Uh, 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 here. Okay, uh, this is good. Uh, so if you use, uh, this is uh, 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 bright dark intravalley bioxyton uh, in K valley, this is a uh, bright dark axiton in another valley, S uh, we call this is a qubit, this is a zero, uh, this one is, is a one. Uh, uh, this valley Riemann splitting is very large, uh, is negative uh, equal to minus tw uh, 12. Uh, uh, for this one, as I showed you, uh, they have the operate the valley the municipality. So if you uh, uh, construct uh, this qubit in the uh, uh, spin uh, relaxation time, you can uh, uh, you can get this rotation for this qubit. Uh, this is uh, about 68 uh, degrees centigrade. But for this case, uh, you only get the 40 degrees centigrade. Uh, but uh, uh, along uh, operate uh, direction. Okay. So, so uh, as I told you, huh, for this qubit, that's because the bioxyton has uh, relative long lifetime and uh, 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 and has the large valley splitting. So this is a good uh, uh, candidate which we we considered uh, as a qubit. Okay, uh, in compare with excitons and with uh, uh, bioxytons. Uh, uh, this is my uh, first part of my talk, uh, which I showed you. Huh? Uh, we can use the uh, bioxyton, which has a very large valley Zeeman splitting and a very large, uh, a very long huh? uh, valley relaxation time to construct the qubit. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's move uh, to the second part. Yeah. Second part is uh, uh, magnetic proximity effect. Uh, uh, this part, part of work, uh, uh, Professor Eagle al uh, already uh, um, told uh, some of them. So uh, this work motivated uh, by uh, 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 his work, uh, and uh, this is uh, his work at PRO, uh, and uh, some experiment uh, uh, data uh, of Hao Zheng uh, uh, with Suyu. Uh, this is this is uh, two uh, different materials. Uh, the first one you only have put uh, you put your uh, uh, TMD uh, on the, uh, the the no magnetic substrate. The second one is the uh, TMD. You uh, uh, you deposit the TMD on the uh, ferromagnetic uh, material. What you can find is uh, for these two uh, different uh, uh, materials, you you got uh, different valley splitting. Uh, this is corresponding to uh, for this case uh, with you have the. Uh, uh, no magnetic substrate, you got uh, the valley splitting as a function of uh, perpendicular magnetic field. But this is uh, uh, quite small, uh, from uh, minus uh, uh, 1.6 to uh, uh, plus uh, yeah, is uh, uh, less than one uh, uh, milliliter from us. But if you uh, deprecate your uh, TMD on the uh, uh, ferromagnetic material, you can uh, get enhanced uh, uh, valley splitting. Uh, recently, this uh, the same group uh, published this paper, uh, uh, which show you how uh, uh, I think is interesting. For different uh, uh, W-based material, you got the different uh, uh, valley Zeeman splitting. Uh, especially for this uh, tungsten uh, disulfide, you got a very large, uh, uh, you only use a uh, very small uh, uh, magnetic field. I, uh, I, uh, I said small relative to uh, my case, I need uh, 50 uh, teslas. Here, uh, you, you only need seven teslas. You can get uh, uh, more than uh, 40 uh, uh, millimeter 
uh, merely let them watch uh, very split. You know. So this, uh, this experiment data uh, motivated us uh, to develop some, uh, 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 some works. Okay. So uh, what, uh, what is the goal of our uh, this work? Uh, uh, in this work, um, I will show you, uh, uh, we apply uh, uh, one, uh, 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 this tilted uh, uh, ferromagnetic uh, uh, moment. Okay. For this case, uh, because tilted, you have the uh, out of plane uh, component, you have the in plane component. Uh, uh, for this case, uh, the, uh, just because this uh, uh, magnet moment, oh, you, you can call it a magnet, uh, magnetization, is very strong. So what you can get, you can get a very uh, uh, exciting uh, uh, phenomena. Uh, with uh, uh, in the K-Valley, we, we, uh, uh, what we found, if you increase uh, this uh, J, uh, this is uh, uh, mag uh, we, we call it the magnetic uh, exchange uh, field, you can get uh, the uh, crossing the ground state uh, crossing, uh, such as uh, initially, uh, when j perpendicular equal to zero, the uh, uh, Cb up is ground state. But as you uh, increase the j perpendicular, you can get the uh, Cb uh, uh, down uh, becomes uh, the ground state. Okay. Uh, this means this means if you have the uh, one exciton in J perpendicular equal to zero, this one is a uh, bright exciton. Uh, this second one is a dark exciton. Uh, if you got this crossover uh, between two uh, uh, conduction band, uh, you can get uh, you can get the the change uh, uh, the feature of ground state. Such as here, uh, you got the uh, uh, ground state is a dark exciton. The excited state is a bright exciton. So you got the uh, um, uh, you got the, uh, uh, the, the, the change uh, of characteristic of ground state. Uh, or but uh, in k primary value, this uh, uh, exchange field just uh, enhances the separation. So uh, uh, this, this means you can get uh, a uh, very selected uh, dark exciton. Okay? So this work, huh, uh, what, uh, yeah, uh, what we want to, uh, uh, to study is uh, uh, in one valley we have uh, bright exciton, in another valley we can get, uh, we can control the characteristic uh, of, uh, of this exciton. Uh, uh, in this case we, we, we have the uh, um, bright exciton, in this case uh, we have a dark exciton, but this dark exciton we can make it a brightening. Okay? So, uh, so uh, this is the uh, main idea of uh, our work. Uh, uh, as I told you, uh, first uh, we make a uh, uh, mixed change uh, the, uh, from bright exciton to dark exciton. And the second, uh, we make this dark exciton brightening uh, using exchange field. Okay? Uh, so, uh, how to uh, to do this, how to understand uh, uh, this process. So what we did, uh, we did the uh, uh, mm, uh, initial calculation uh, together with uh, tight binding. And yeah, then uh, uh, this part give you a uh, single particle uh, with function and energy. With this, uh, this single particle information, then we solve the best soft equations. We get uh, uh, um, uh, again, uh, again, state and again value of exciton. Then we do uh, the valley dynamic dynamics. So uh, with this three part, uh, uh, then we can understand uh, our uh, 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 this problem. So for first part, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, a general uh, tight bending model. So, uh, but uh, this is two term. Uh, this is a uh, uh, general uh, tight bending model. But for this case, just because we put um, uh, uh, TMD uh, on the top of uh, ferromagnetic field, so we have this exchange term. So what we uh, we did uh, uh, first part, we just uh, uh, run DFT uh, calculus, and then we fit uh, our tight binding model. Then we get the uh, 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 hopping hopping terms. 
Uh, then with these hopping terms, we solve this problem and uh, we get uh, the information with exchange field, right? Uh, this is the first part. Uh, uh, then the second part, as I, to I, I told you, uh, uh, with the uh, single particle information, we can solve the base soft equation. Just you uh, expand uh, the uh, excellent wave function um, uh, in terms of uh, single particle electron and the whole uh, wave function. Here is the uh, uh, center of mass momentum. So uh, this allows you uh, not only uh, you can uh, not only study the uh, vertical transition, you can also uh, study the uh, indirect indir uh, transitions, optical transitions. Uh, so you got this uh, um, uh, basic equation, uh, uh, this part of Bolo and uh, uh, Professor Igor already have told you, so I don't want to uh, spend my time. If you want to uh, uh, get more information, this is we published in uh, 2000. 15, this is, uh, uh, has some details. Uh, so with this information uh, at hand, we can uh, study the uh, valley dynamics. This is our uh, recent workers, if you, uh, uh, because this part is uh, a little bit complicated, so I don't have time, but if you are interested in, you can uh, uh, take a look at our recent papers. Uh, this is. So uh, uh, here, huh, I just, uh, show you uh, how it works, uh, our tight bending model. Um, so initially, uh, um, we used a uh, uh, simplified uh, tight bending model. We just used uh, 5D orbitals. We get uh, a relatively good uh, result. But when we uh, um, uh, applied our tight bending model to the uh, nano ribbon, we found uh, uh, so 5D orbital is not, uh, uh, is not enough. Uh, uh, to get very high um, uh, pr uh, uh, precision uh, result. So uh, then we extended uh, our model to the 11-band uh, 11 uh, band model. Uh, besides the 11-band model, we, all, uh, we also consider uh, the next nearest, uh, this is the nearest neighbor, and uh, this is the next nearest neighbor, Hopkins. So this gives us a uh, very uh, uh, good uh, result. Uh, this is uh, um, uh, here. Uh, the the red point is the DFD calculation for this uh, typical uh, TMD materials. This uh, this curve is our uh, tight bending model. You can see uh, uh, this fitting is very good. Uh, it's very good, uh, uh, reliable uh, uh, result. Uh, so uh, with this one, uh, uh, with uh, without exchange field. Uh, uh, at hand, we can uh, uh, calculate, use our uh, tight bending model, um, calculate the uh, problem with exchange field. Uh, this is a tight bending uh, result. Uh, what you can find uh, here is, uh, uh, actually, this is a perpendicular exchange field. Uh, for this case, uh, we, ha we, uh, we don't have the exchange field. Uh, this result is already uh, well known. So you have the time reverse symmetry in k and k prime primary value. So uh, this means uh, uh, in the condensed band, you have uh, this time reversal. You, you can get uh, this is, uh, uh, up, down, and down, up. But if you increase exchange field, what, you, uh, what happens, uh, because this perpendicular exchange field uh, will break down uh, time reversal symmetry, you can, uh, you can find in K valley, this separation is decrease. But uh, in another valley, the separation increase. Uh, if you uh, increase further uh, exchange field, uh, what you find, you, you can find uh, this uh, reversal. Uh, reversal is uh, up, down, down, up. Uh, is, uh, 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 yeah, uh, is uh, um, uh, totally different with uh, this is the first case. This means you got the uh, phase transition. Uh, uh, yeah. So uh, for the uh, best solved equation, uh, what we have, uh, uh, this is our uh, uh, calculation. This is uh, 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 energy spectra of exciton. From this figure, what you can find, uh, this is uh, uh, center of mass momentum of exciton. This means uh, uh, in the at uh, a uh, k point, at uh, a k point. Oh yeah, uh, I will. Uh, at the k point, this means you don't have the uh, center of mass momentum. This means uh, you, uh, if you uh, uh, you only have the uh, vertical transition. So in this case, you got the uh, uh, this uh, bright and dark exciton. This is a bright dark uh, bi exciton. Uh, you can uh, study uh, uh, indirect uh, 
um, uh, gap, uh, indirect transitions also. Huh? Uh, this, uh, this is very uh, consistent with experimental data, so uh, I think uh, our uh, uh, basisopic equation uh, solver uh, work, works well. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, with this information in hand, we can uh, uh, study the uh, value splitting as a function of this uh, perpendicular exchange field. You can find uh, uh, with very small, this is a 20 uh, MeV uh, for exchange field is, uh, is experimentally uh, accessible, is easily accessible. Uh, you can get a very large uh, uh, dark exciton. This is a dark exciton splitting, okay? Uh, because I don't have so much time, uh, so... Uh, Okay, yeah, uh, so uh, I'm, I'm finishing, okay. Uh, so for this case, uh -huh, such as <laughs> in K-value you have the bright dark epsilon, in K-prime value you have, uh, you have uh, uh, this uh, inter-value scattering, so then uh, you can go to, uh, uh, for this case, uh, uh, without uh, uh, exchange field, uh -huh, uh, this is a uh, uh, intensity of a pure, uh, pure intensity. This is a valley uh, polarization as a function of, uh, because uh, as I told you, we applied uh, the exchange field, uh, the tilted uh, exchange field. So we have two component, uh, component. One is a perpendicular part, uh, uh, another one is uh, uh, parallel part. Uh, so if you fix uh, a perpendicular part, a perpendicular part give you uh, the crossover, uh, this uh, 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 Parallel part mix semi uh, and spin on state. So this part give you huh, uh, uh, make the dark exciton brighting. This one huh, makes spin up spin uh, So uh, these two effects give you huh, you can see for this one huh, this is uh, uh, for uh, J perpendicular you could 15 MeV and for huh, J parallel you could uh, 30. We got the uh, one percent polarization of dark exciton, okay? Uh, so this means uh, uh, you can use dark exciton uh, as uh, uh, information carrier uh, uh, with, uh, you don't, don't need to do uh, um, so large uh, eff effort. Uh, you can get very uh, uh, large uh, uh, value polarizing long uh, uh, lifetime, okay? Uh, everything you need, uh, you can get. So uh, finally, this is uh, uh, our, uh, um, mm, uh, last figure. Huh? Uh, this figure show you, huh? as I told you, this work, I want to show, huh? uh, I want to uh, create, we want to create uh, one uh, transistor uh, which is uh, uh, uses a magnetic uh, uh, field uh, to realize this transistor instead of electrical field. Uh, uh, we did the uh, comparison, uh, which comparison is uh, we calculate the on-off ratio uh, uh, this is uh, our definition. We got very high, very high for very small J, uh, uh, parallel. We get very high. Thi this ratio uh, about uh, uh, one syringe, uh, something like a uh, uh, three syringe, uh, which which is uh, much larger, much much larger than electrical transistor. Uh, this means uh, I don't know how, uh, who do experiment. Uh, there is. Uh, Maybe uh, you can, uh, can give you some uh, interesting information. Okay, so uh, okay, because I don't have time, so, so I, I, I make my conclusion. So, uh, yeah, this is my conclusion. What uh, uh, I did, I'm trying to convince you uh, uh, you can use uh, dark exciton and bi exciton, um, yeah, uh, as. Uh, uh, Information carrier because dark exciton and bi exciton has very large uh, value splitting and a very long huh, lifetime. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, you can uh, use the bi exciton to, uh, uh, to create uh, the qubit. Okay? So, finally, huh, the last part I, uh, I tried to convince you you can use the uh, uh, magnetic uh, approximate effect to create the new uh, transistors. Okay? Mm, thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you for now. One short question, if you have, or if there is any, yes. Yeah. Uh, very short. Thank you for the interesting talk. Yeah. Uh, so when you say two by accident qubits, 
Yeah. So how do you make one qubit? 